problem here. Most of this menu, when I Google Translate everything, is pretty much uh, meat. There was a, a little incident. I, I know for sure, like with the language barrier, the two women that are serving me know that I don't eat meat. Oh my god, <laughs> my heart. I just thinking about that is like... back room looks like they just opened up at 12 so I love this take a look at this we had another menu from around the world and everything is in French so I will use my photo translating app to figure out what I can order also, they do have a little menu here, and I see risotto, which I'm a huge fan of, but I just need to know what that is, so we'll figure it out. But look, one, one, and one for 27 euros. I think I'm gonna do that. It's one of my favorite apps to use. You can snap a picture, and Google will translate it from whatever language to whatever language, and if really works really well as you can see and liver mousse can't eat that veal and steak can't eat that so it looks like I'm not going to be able to do their uh, three course menu problem here most of this menu when I google translate everything is pretty much uh, meat not a lot of vegetable options I think what I'm going to do is just order the sea bass because that's like the only seafood option they have. The, also another thing I noticed with this restaurant is that there's no prices. And I know this is like a Michelin rated restaurant. They don't have a star, but they are Michelin in the books. Uh, so I know it's probably gonna be expensive and this is the most fanciest, best restaurant in this part of France. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna pay a lot for it. Um, the apricot juice that I got, which looks like this, I can give you the price and you kind of can tell more or less how expensive this is. So 5 euros 80 for the juice. So I think I'm just going to order the sea bass, see what it comes with, and then um, I think that'll be all I can order. The desserts don't seem very exciting to me. so. That's kind of where I am. And I would love to have soup, but I don't think they have soup. Let's try the olives. Mm. What I've noticed from eating olives in Europe is that I kind of like them firm. So like, this is a perfect example of the type of olive I like. A little small and firm. Yeah. It's like with a little crostini. I don't know what this is. Very good olives. Hmm. There was a, a little incident. I, I know for sure, like with the language barrier, the two women that are serving me know that I don't eat meat. And the little, what do you want to call it, a aperitif, the really small starter. They serve me rabbit. Oh my god. My heart. I just thinking about that is like. So, anyway, they took it away, and now I have something that's just vegetables. So, let's try. Here it is. Oh, much better. So, let's try. Mm. Wow. Alright, let's try this. Ooh, it's on the dense side. Wow, so dense. Mm -hmm. 
I don't really care for this, it's really like tough. Almost more denser than a cornbread. It's not really any taste, but this little soup parade thing is really good. Wow, amazing plating. Alright, this is super fancy. I mean, take a look at this plating. Wow. Comes with a little mini baguette. How cute is that? The type of utensils they serve. Okay, I don't even know where to begin, but I feel like I don't know if this is spicy or not, but let's try let's try the fish. Wow. Okay, there's skin on the bottom. I don't know about eating the skin. Okay, here we go. Wow, it is so soft. Mm. Let's try the vegetables. Vegetable parade. Mm. I think the fish and the vegetables is on the salty side and then like this vegetable puree which I probably think it has like some kind of potato in it like look it doesn't even fall off my fork it's really on the bland side to balance off the saltiness of the fish and the vegetables but the fish is literally so soft now there is like little clams, I guess, yeah. I don't eat this, so I'm gonna set that to the side. But, oh, look at the bread. Mm -hmm. It's so cute and tiny. Let's try. Mm, very good. Also, look at this. So, from my understanding, I got a um, I got a two course menu, so an entree with dessert. So that was an option to do it that way. So I ended up ordering the lime lime meringue pie something like that lime meringue pie so we'll see how big that is but this is so cute i really love the plating it's adorable and i'm like sitting next to the window in the corner looking at everything in the restaurant it's very tiny and intimate oh my goodness look at this the last part i was actually falling asleep waiting for the dessert but take a look at this oh my goodness let's cut into it there's pomegranate in here Oh, it's like a foam. There it is. Take a look. Mm. Interesting. The top part is like a thick foam. Mm. Mm. Interesting texture on this. It's kind of airy and thick. Like a marshmallow almost. That was my lunch at Escargo. It's very windy. It was 34.80, so about 35 euros. So it kind of seems like a trend. I'm paying around 35 dollars, 36, 37 dollars for lunch in this part of France. Um, and that was a very fancy lunch, as you've seen. And now, isn't this kind of crazy? I come out and the market is already done for the day. It's empty now. As you see. The market is done for the day. It's a morning market. Oh, it's so windy. It's probably not good for the vlog. Let's walk back to the car. All right, so here's my rental car. 
I feel like I should move it because it says hour 30, but uh, like nobody's here watching. 